I'm not sure if you guys remember this corner, but it used to be a car wash. And now it's a Starbucks that's coming soon. So we are downtown Phoenix right now. I'm here to visit my friend, Mr. Bicycle Nomad, Eric with a K. We just printed some shirts, so we're here to talk about some more t-shirts in the future to get printed. And then we're headed back to the shop later tonight. How's it going, Eric? How you doing, bro? Good and yourself? Kombucha from Eric. Mm. It's like beer like, but healthier. Oh, yes. All right, you guys. So, super quick, the Uncle Steve asked me how to or if I can help him with any advice on making the sleeve board palette. So, the Uncle Steve, you're going to need this type of wood. I'm going to leave a link below where you can find it at Home Depot. Um, you gotta figure out the bracket size that you have first of all so you gotta figure out the size of the bracket come and measure it here on your wood and then you can cut it the size of your bracket where you're gonna pretty much um, screw it onto around here the top of the pallet and if you need it to be narrower once it passes the the size of the bracket then you can always cut down and make it smaller so that you can fit your whatever size sleeve print you're doing and then uh, you know once you have your cut and everything screwed on there your bracket then you're gonna want to smooth out the edges of your board so that the shirts don't catch on the side of the board and then get your shirts ripped or have holes on the sides so um, it, it's really quite simple I'll see if I have any um, videos that I've done in the past where I'm showing you guys how to cut this so the Uncle Steve hopefully I do have something for you if I find it I'll send you the link but it's as simple as buying this wood at Home Depot and having the right tools like a table saw to cut it straight get the right measurements and then pretty much screw the bracket onto it and figure out the length that you need for your prints so my friend this is what I'm talking about that's the bracket and if you need it to be any uh, smaller you just gotta cut down whatever you need but it's pretty simple to make so I'll give you the link to where to get the wood from and you just gotta find the brackets or you can take apart old um, you can take apart old pallets that you're not using anymore and use that bracket from that if you no longer need it so let's go uh, over here with Brian so Brian um, I think that you didn't get fired today why? because Juan was like um, I guess I can call him when I need him <laughs> So it looks like you're good. Yeah, yeah. that's how you fire someone without actually firing them, though. You think so? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're in here today. We got a couple of things to do. We have a friend that's visiting us in a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you guys his face. He's never been on the vlog before. He's interested in buying that press that I have at home. And uh, we're going to cut some decals for Dylan from Movement and also for Nomad, the guy that we were with earlier. He's looking to get more shirts printed, so I'm very excited for that. We have a lot of work coming in, and we're almost ready for the setup over here to get this photo shoots going. So yesterday we took two arms, the ones that I showed you guys. Now today I'm gonna take these apart, and then me and my dad are gonna take this press to my house, and I'm gonna set up the backdrop because I already have it here. The homie Ronnie's in the building. Okay, you guys, I'm glad I ran into this situation here where I'm printing the Nate 
on these racer back tank tops because a lot of people have trouble positioning this nape location and there's a very easy way to do it so the way I do it to figure this out is I draw these lines so one of them is for the center and depending on how wide that racer back is you can uh, go about in two inches or just an inch and a half to uh, each side of the center and then just draw your lines so that when you bring in your racer back you have references to where your design is and it's easier for you to center that nape and it's going to be centered every time so i'm super glad that i got to do this today so that i can put it on camera and show you guys how it's done we're almost done with knife and garment it's not the work from last week she brought more so we're working on that there's two more bags that are new that, just, that they just brought so super excited to get more work done for her and the uncle steve listen don't spend that money yet if what i said today doesn't make sense i'm gonna go ahead and make a palette just for you i'm gonna make a special video for you um to all the guys that went to the is S show in Long Beach I hope you guys had fun I've seen some of the videos um, it, it's really not that appealing to me to go to these shows because there's really uh, not much for me to do there other than joke around and kind of like see the new equipment that I know I can't afford yet but besides that one of these days I might end up going and maybe taking one of you guys if I can afford it We'll see, we'll do some kind of crazy giveaway if it's possible in the future. But this time, I was busy here at work. I'm trying to get more business so that I can definitely get rid of that nine to five that's been pescering me for a while now and um, <clears throat> bring that to an end so that I can focus 100% on what I really want. You know what I'm saying? So we got that palette done today. Um, I was able to show you guys this little system that I created for the racers backs. So I hope that that was helpful. We're gonna be back in here tomorrow. Um, the Uncle Steve, get back to me. You know, I'm always available. Just let me know what's going on with your situation and we'll figure something out for you. So just remember that I'm always here for you guys. Ronnie's leaving. Mr. Mister, will detail your car. Let me see. Let me see. Nah, I this ah, what? Let me see. Instagram, where's your Instagram at? We'll put the Instagram link below. He's not up to date with putting the information on his t-shirt like we do. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, if we do t-shirt for him. Oh, you know what? This is the guy that wants to buy the press. So, maybe he's going to print his own shirts. Yeah. We'll teach him That's how to That's what print. it's about. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have my him. inspiration. We're going to have him watch the channel. And he's going to learn how to print like that. That's his truck. Righty, tidy. We're going to bring this to an end. And I want to show you guys a, a quick picture from my friend Premium Prince. He tagged me on this photo and I think it's pretty cool if you guys can see it. Um, this is kind of what I mean when I say I want to help you guys by learning how to screen print. And I know that some of you guys already have your own ideas on how to do it. But watching the channel sometimes can make you think about other ways to get it done. And I'm not trying to change your whole way of printing but at least you can get an idea or two maybe by reclaiming faster or the way I set up, the way I tape my screens, the way I lay my screens after I reclaim so they can dry faster. So the, the intentions of the channel really are for you to kind of pick here and there what you want to incorporate into your business to make it more efficient. So shout out to everybody that's uh, been hitting me up on Instagram. I like that they want to learn. I like that they're asking questions to get themselves to the next level and become better printers. So that's really what all this is about. And um, I know I said it time after time where I'm going to bring the cameras out outdoors and uh, be hiking and probably showing you guys some of the restaurants that I visit <clears throat> because their food is just great. And uh, that's going to be it for today, you guys. We're going to print some decals for my homie movement, which is Dylan. I'm going to tag his Instagram. Heartless over here finally printed out his film. So we're going to start on his designs two weeks from what? Tomorrow? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. So we're about a week overdue. So wanna wanna say anything about your brand? Dropping soon? Dropping soon. Where can they find your gear at? 
Killer Coaches at US only plays, no other place. Anything else is bootleg, no mess with it. 100. Hit you on Instagram, Hit me on IG, Facebook, Moco Space, MySpace. They can find you anywhere? Okay, anywhere, anywhere where you can find clothes, you can find me. All right. Gordo, you almost done?